Ascent begins at T-0, liftoff, the end of the countdown, and the beginning of the mission. Shortly afterwards, at T-12 seconds, the rocket rolls, lining up Starliner with its target orbit and putting the astronauts in a heads-up position. Then, around T plus 40 seconds, max Q starts. That's also known as max aerodynamic pressure. This is a critical time when the atmospheric forces reach their highest. Next, at about plus 1 minute 35 seconds, the two solid rocket boosters run out of fuel and burn out, and about a minute later they separate from the booster. The Atlas booster engine continues to burn for almost two more minutes. Then at approximately plus 430, booster engine cutoff, or BECO. About five seconds later, the booster separates and so does the ascent cover on top of Starliner. At around four minutes, 45 seconds, the Centaur upper stage ignites, continuing the push to orbital speeds. Then a little after five minutes, Starliner is free of the atmosphere and doesn't need additional aerodynamic support and the aeroskirt is jettisoned. After a long six plus minute push from Centaur, main engine cutoff or Miko happens around 12 minutes after liftoff. Then when Centaur successfully separates almost 15 minutes after launch, ULA's job is done. But Starliner is not quite in orbit yet. After a 16 minute coast, Starliner ignites four of its orbital maneuvering and attitude control or OMAC engines for the orbital insertion burn, and then 31 minutes after liftoff, the ascent profile is complete.